If, if you sync if you synced up with us at the beginning, you're all good. Um, listen, I'm about to get out of here, but I guess my my final my final quick assessment. Shit, maybe what I'm saying now, uh, this portion might come up on YouTube. But again, um, um, the the fucking the final Martian Manhunter scene, I like I like cut it off before it ended. Listen, mate. If 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 somehow if if by some chance that this portion is on YouTube, listen to me carefully. If you want to watch this black and white version, you go ahead. Uh, it is it is it is a tasty uh, it is a tasty delight. This edition, the black and white edition. But listen to me. This is the same. It's the same exact movie, but it's just in black and white. Okay. There's there's no. There's no added scenes. There's no special new nuggets. It's literally the exact same film in black and white. Um, the black and white certainly helps the VFX, um, but it's, it's literally essentially it's the exact same film. Um, however, you felt however you felt about the color version, you're going to feel the exact way about the black and white version, unless you really have a hard on for black and white. And that being said, um, I do wish because uh, the black and white here this this was like a, a conversion you know done in post um i would have preferred if when they were filming in color simultaneously with a different camera rig um they were shooting in black and white and like a robert eggers the lighthouse sort of deal you know i wish they had i wish they had taken i wish they had taken that approach okay if they took that approach um, maybe, I, I, I think maybe I would have just been more into this black and white version because it just would have been more, uh, pure, I suppose, if that makes any more sense. Like, for example, as wonderful of a watch that this was, like, watching Robert Eggers' um, The Lighthouse is totally different, you know what I'm saying? just from a filmic quality, you know, uh, texture quality, resolution quality, because Robert, Robert Eggers used like actual literal film, like literally shot uh, in black and white. You understand me? Um, shit, I don't, I don't even think, I don't even know if a color version of The Lighthouse even exists, for example. You know what I mean? Like, so, um, yeah. I just would have preferred if Zach took that approach. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will upload this specific portion of this video. Um, that might be clever. It might, might be educational for some people, hoping that there's a lot more to this black and white version, which there's not. Um, it's still a ten out of ten film, of course. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. The odd, the odds of me ever watching this black and white version again are extremely low, uh, unless like in an IMAX theater. Sure, I, I guess. Uh, would, would he allow us to sh to choose? Well, like, would he only screen the the black and white in IMAX? Someone let me know. But um, maybe in the IMAX theater. Um, I bet. Yeah, sure. But um, outside of that. <laughs> It's, it's the color version for me, um, but let me know. Uh, you know, let me know down below. Would you? Uh, would Would you guys think of this black and white version? Um, again, it's the color version for me. <laughs> color version wins. Uh, Zach's a fucking madman. I can't believe he did this. Uh, I'm not even hating or anything, but I, I literally just can't believe he he was just like, uh, well, I got enough time on my hands. I'm gonna make this exact same thing, black and white. Let's see here. Uh, it's only four in California. This is, Jesus. Well, I mean, still, still pretty late, my guy. Um, it's like 6 a.m. on my side. Uh, yo, deuces, my guy. Deuces. Um, keep streaming. SnyderCon HBO, you guys. Keep the stream. Yeah, that's true. That's true, guys. Um, Zach, Zach had said something um, eerily similar. I don't know if I have a screenshot. Let me see. I don't know if I have a screenshot. 
but he said something very similar. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how well you can see this. Let me see here. Okay. Okay, there we go. You, oh, oh, there we go. You see it? Oh, 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 there you go. You see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way the sequels are coming. By watching and getting others to watch. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Zach. Uh, and Sam. That's true. The only way we're getting these sequels is, is watching the fuck out of this shit and, uh, you know, bigging it up on social medias and, um, you know, I think I think today is today. I think today is uh, I think today is the day that uh, um, on social medias, uh, all Snyder fans are going to try to make the hashtag uh, restore to restore to Snyderverse. They're going to try to make it go viral today, twenty uh, fifth of, of March. Um, it's either today or the twenty seventh. One of the two. I can't remember. Uh, speaking of, can't remember. Yeah, that's that's my thoughts of the Justice League Grey Edition. Uh, your boy is out of here. I am fucking dying. So, thank you for watching. I love y'all. I'm out of here. <laughs> Pieces.